Honey, I'm leaving. We'll see ya. Honey, have you seen my keys? Honey? HitFilm Sensei here. Today in this video, we are going to do the typewriter effect. Now, if you own the pro version of HitFilm, then it's ridiculously easy because Boris has a built-in uh, typewriter effect. It's, re it's so easy, it's not even funny. But I realize that some people don't have the pro version. You're waiting you know, for the email with your key in it, that kind of thing. Uh, so in the meantime, maybe you have to do this effect in the express version. So let's do it. We're going to start by making a new composite shot and click OK. And I'm going to bring in my notepad page, uh, which is just something that I found online and downloaded. I am going to uh, resize it so that it's basically the size of the screen. And then I'm going to drop it down here right until it's off the screen. Okay, and then I'm going to keyframe the position. And after one second, I'm going to bring it in uh, or up into the page like this, right? So that you can see it. Uh, and then we're going to leave it there. And I like the smooth keyframe, so I'm going to make a smooth keyframe there so that this just kind of zoop and stays. Okay, now we're going to go to the two second mark and we're going to add in uh, our text. So I'm going to. Uh, grab the text tool here, this little A icon. I'm going to drag a box where the text will be. And then I'm going to type in my text. Mission uh, objective find the keys, right? Exclamation point. I'm going to control A to highlight all of it. And then I'm going to change the color to black by clicking on this right here. And then I'm going to drag the size number to make it bigger so that it sort of fills the frame. The other thing I want to do is I want to change the font. You can change it to whatever you want, but I happen to have an elegant typewriter font right there. And that's my the font that I want to use. Okay. And it's maybe I want to just you know position it slightly. Okay. So now that we've designed the look of it, what we're going to do is we're going to twirl it open and we're going to click on the masks and I'm going to grab this square mask tool right here in the toolbar and I'm just going to expose with a mask the entire um, sentence here. Okay, then with the arrow key I'm going to come uh, twirl open the transform properties of that mask and under position I am going to keyframe that and then on the X position I'm going to slide it over until it's off of the letters like this okay now here's the key we're just going to expose each letter one at a time and we're going to do it every three frames I'm going to expand my timeline so you can see that I'm actually doing this you can see how I'm doing that and I'm going to go one two three using the period key and then I'm going to expose the M okay just the M then I'm going to go one, two, three, and expose the I. And using the period key, one, two, three, I'm going to expose the S. One, two, three, and the next S. One, two, three, and then the I. One, two, three, and then the O. One, two, three, and then the N. Okay, now that I have exposed all of that word, I'm going to go six keyframes one two three four five six and then I'm going to expose the O in objective and then one two three and then the B and one two three and then the J and I'm going to keep doing this until I have done it with all the letters I've keyframed all of the mask positions now that I've done that 
The thing about these keyframes is they're linear keyframes. So if I'm here and I just sort of move, it's sort of just exposing them by rolling over them. And that's not what we want. We want them to appear one at a time as if they've been typed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab them all and I'm going to change them from being linear keyframes to this one, constant keyframe. Click OK and you can see that they've all been changed. But now what happens is one, two and bam. One, two, and bam, one, two, bam, one, two, bam. And that's how they end up being exposed. So they just appear, the letter just appears, right? And so when that happens, now it comes up and then it's as if it's being typed out this way, right? Then all I have to do is keyframe the paper to drop, add my sound effects, and I'm good to go. The sound effects I found online, it's real easy to do. And basically, that's it in a nutshell. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Feel free to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hey, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.